and I want everybody to make their way into the sanctuary. So if we can have Alfredo, um, more or less, bring some of the people back into the sanctuary so we can get this show going. I appreciate that. Hey. Now we have a couple announcements today. I'm going to introduce some people, and I'm going to let you guys know about some upcoming events and whatnot. But I also wanted to just follow suit with what we do normally every Thursday. Okay. Everybody have a pamphlet? Somebody get a new pamphlet. Not hard. All right. All right. So for all the newcomers here, we're going to read this declaration and our prayer. It's our New Day Declaration Prayer. And we do this together so that we can communicate that we're all a family in community, in fellowship, in spirit, all doing what we need to do to try to pursue recovery and grow closer to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. So with that being said, guys, I want you really to understand that this is a meditation of the heart, right? You may not get it right now, but I'm telling you, if you keep coming, you're going to get it, right? You will. So let's read this prayer together because New Day is a what? A fellowship of grace and a shelter in the storm, right? We are a fellowship of Christ followers, loud and seekers, who were once broken, but now are being restored and joined together. We propose to leave the bondages of life behind and push on to victory in Christ. We are all pilgrims on the journey towards heaven. We choose to journey together, nurtured by the Holy Spirit and sheltered by the law of our fellowship. Our paths to this point may have deferred. But we choose to join in common purpose. As much as possible, we seek to agree on our futures and not to argue about our pasts and the past. As a fellowship of Christ followers, we stick together to serve Jesus, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Let us join together to seek shelter and rescue those who still suffer. All right, so I'm going to need everybody's participation in here, okay? Now, when we Raise our hands to the heavens to start surrender. How many people have been that we need God? All right. That should be everybody's hand. Okay? Now it's your question. So with that being said, as we raise our hands in this prayer, we are saying, God, we surrender. We need you. All right? We welcome you. We invite you to arrive in our life. All right? So let's read this together. Let's invite the Holy Spirit and be touched and changed by it. Okay? Dear Heavenly Father, you are present in this gathering of broken people and also in my life with life, truth, and love. You alone are all knowing, all powerful, and everywhere present, and I live, follow, worship, and serve you alone. I declare my dependency on you, for apart from you, I can do nothing. I cannot be set free from my addictions, my sins, and from my character defects without your help. I choose to believe your word, which teaches that all authority in heaven and on earth belongs to the resurrected Christ. And being alive in Christ, we have the authority to resist the devil and our addictions as we submit our will over to your will. I ask that you fill me with your Holy Spirit and guide me into all truth. I ask for your complete protection and guidance as I seek to know you and do your will for your glory. I invite you to arrive in my life with your power, protection, and peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, right? Amen. Amen. All right, well, thank you guys so much. I'm going to pass this over to Bruce, and he's going to take it away. 